All right, so today we're going to be taking a look at uh, this one problem where we had to find the value of, of x and y, and we're going to see kind of what uh, what the process is that we've got to go through. Now, what I'm going to do first is take a look at this triangle right here in this spot. So in that triangle right there, what I'm going to do is take a look at this angle right here, which says, okay, that little box means that that corner is 90 degrees. Over here we've got 20 degrees, which means this angle up here must be 70 degrees because in a right triangle the two acute angles are complementary, which means they add up to 90. If I know one of them is 70 or 20 degrees, then that means the other one has to be 70. Now, I know that this angle 70 degrees and this angle right here are vertical angles, and vertical angles are equal. So once I figure that component out, and I know that those angles are going to be the same value, then what I'm going to do is take a look at this triangle right up here. Now in this spot right here, I know that one of the angles is 25. I know another angle is 70. So to find angle X, all I need to do is subtract 25 and 70 from 180, because the sum of them, X plus 70 plus 25, the sum of three angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So this, when I simplify, gives me x plus 95. And then when I subtract 95 on both sides, I'll end up with x equals 85. So that means x has a value right here of 85 degrees. So this piece right here is 85. Now, on the other side of this component, or what I'm going to do is take a look at this entire triangle, the bigger triangle, and the triangle that I'm going to look at is actually going to be uh, right here, 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 and all the way up here. So what I'm going to do is kind of redraw that, that part, and I'm just going to kind of label some of the pieces that I, that I know. This part is 90 degrees. Up here, I know that that's 25. Now I'm trying to find this value y right down in here. Well, there's a couple different ways I can approach it, but one of the ways that I'm going to take a look at is this angle on the other side of the right angle is also going to be 90 degrees. It's going to be a right angle because these two angles right here form a linear pair. Now, when I know that, I've got 25 degrees, 90 degrees, and then y. So again, I've got three angles of a triangle that should add up to 180. Now I know one of the angles is 90 degrees. So I can just do y plus 25 equals 90. Because if I have a right triangle, then that means the two acute angles are going to also have to be complementary, which means they add up to 90. So when I do my arithmetic here, I just get a value of y equals 90 take away 25 is 65. So y ends up with a value of 65, and x ends up having a value of 85. 